are doomed, brothers and sisters, and they know it. The people of Far Harbor need only peer... Clear out their windows to look upon the face of Adam himself, given form in holy fog. Yet no matter how inevitable Adam's reign in this land may be, they deny it. Scarf at us behind their condensers. Kill our... Our missionaries. Slay those who only wish to bring them the light. No longer. After years of skulking in the shadows like whipped dogs, our purpose is clear. And I know the key to our victory lies within the nucleus itself. We will claim the secrets hidden away by that accursed robot. And with them, we will wipe Far Harbor from the island. Madam Fail will roll down its streets. Holy fog cleansing the land of their heresy. And when we are finally granted division, it will be as heroes. A new day dawns, brothers and sisters. Glory to Atom! Glory to Adam! Ah, I've heard whispers of a new convert. Welcome, sister. Deliver me from this. How does it feel to take your place among Adam's chosen? More rads than I usually like. That's for damn sure. Ah, you do not bear Adam's blessing. No issue. A number of our brethren did so. But I digress. I have a question for you. You've been to Far Harbor, yes? Seen its barriers against Adam's holy fog? Its citizens' blasphemous refusal to vacate what is clearly his domain? What would you do with such a place? I'd reach out to them. Try to make peace. Do you not believe we have tried? Sounds like peace would be better for everyone. This island is dangerous enough as it is. For years my predecessor begged for peace, while Far Harbor fortified their bastion of heresy. We tried to help them, to bring them Adam's light. Many of our brethren ended up dying for it. But now that I am High Confessor, that time is over. All Adam's foes, whether Far Harbor cowering behind their precious condensers, or that ancient robot hiding away his memories within our very home, they will come to recognize Adam as the sole master of this island. But it is only through unity that we can succeed. Adam requires devotion from all his children. Embrace that. And you will do well here. Now, was there anything you required? I found this icon. The Grand Zealot said you'd be interested in seeing it. Is that the Mother? So the whispers were true. You saw the Mother of the Fog. Many of Adam's children spend their whole lives wishing for such a boon. It would seem he expects great things from you, child. As will I. Now, was there anything else? Those memories you've been wanting to access? I found a way to unlock them. You have? Atom above, child. I can only imagine what you had to do in order to lay your hands on such information. But understand that you are to bring anything you find directly to me. I will send word you're not to be impeded. And be careful. Too many of our brethren have fallen already trying to unlock the secrets of that accursed machine. Now, go do what you must. Hey, let me ask you something. Okay, ask. It's just, uh... With everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Huh. 
You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took... ...took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about fifteen. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand. She'd, uh... <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. You're not a spy, right? Testing, testing. Hello, Institute, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hello. Hell if I know. If I am, the Institute's plan to gather intel on all the runaways of the Commonwealth has been going off without a hitch. Was it hard? Yeah, they sure didn't make... I started off doing the jobs no one else wants, but I guess folk... Wife runs off an upset after a... Hell, I was so happy... Right. I never stopped. It was about then that... It took me a long, that was a long, long story. <sighs> there you are. I have a job for you. Building a collection or something? Holy Adam, we shall crush their walls and drive their heresy into the sea. Caution, sister. Last child who tried to claim the secrets within, rouse the guardians of the base. So unless you've been tasked by the High Confessor, I'd steer clear of the command center. It's all right. The High Confessor sent me. Ah, you're the brave soul. They said you'd be coming. Take care with him. Adam can only protect against so much. <laughs>